aseptic technique. This is part of the triple science specification in AQA, is a can-do task in OCR Gateway and links to both Edexcel and to 21st century science. Many students take a slightly casual approach to aseptic technique and one of the strategies I use to try to underline the concept of cross-contamination is to use a powder, for example soap. This is the uh, environmental bacteria that we don't want to uh, get onto the agar plate. And when they first attempt this, I use green dye or ink to represent the bacterial culture. In aseptic, aseptic technique, the key point is to make sure that only the culture ends up on the agar and that none of the potential contaminants end up on the agar. Likewise, none of this ending up in the environment. Right, the inoculating loop will of course be contaminated when uh, sitting around in the classroom. So it's flamed to red heat. Cooled in sterile water. The next step is to ensure that the lid does not come in contact with any surfaces. The top of the bottle is flamed so that if it does touch anyone there are no contaminating bacteria. This can be placed on the desk. The lid is removed, placed upside, upside down, plated with our green dye, lid replaced, reflame the loop, lid back on bottle. A common mistake made by a lot of students is that when they come to sealing their agar dish, they try to make it completely airtight by sealing it around the side. This creates anaerobic conditions and will encourage the development of some really quite unpleasant bacteria. So a simple loop around the lid and dish is all that's required. By using the soap powder and the green dye, students can then assess whether they've managed to create a aseptic conditions. They can look for contamination of green dye on themselves, on surfaces, and whether any of the powder has got into the bottle or the agar dish. Thank you.